هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Oh, Christos on esti, Mesiacham, it's time for Vita 18. Because it's April 18th, 2012, and it's time for Comments X. Well, you'll see now for the next 50 days there will be a new opening to Big Bang Theory, all the comment text particularly here, uh, because uh, this is what we say to people uh, uh, during this period. We're in, uh, <laughs> I should mention, uh, the Greeks and a lot of the Eastern uh, Christians, uh, we don't just celebrate the holiday like the West does for one or two days and that's it. It's not like Easter comes and then, you know, one or two days and then off you go again. Uh, same thing with Christmas. Uh, the Western Christ, uh, Christmas, which is the twenty, which is the twenty fifth of December. Uh, most people take the day off, and then, uh, and then it's back to work for for the rest of the. And then they, they, you know, it's basically Christmas, Easter. They, they have major holidays, and that's about it. Uh, for us, uh, the holidays, there is a fifty day lead into the holidays. Uh, with m m some people call it fasting, it, it, it's a, it's 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 a different uh, frame of mind because it, you, you're you're going to church more, uh, you're out more, and there's a whole diff if you know how to cook, uh, particularly the foods that are from the Middle East uh, and the Asian countries. Uh, <laughs> so this is where I find it ironic because the uh, the Eastern s culture has been doing. What vegans have been doing for thousands, for vegan veganism basically popped up around 19, 1990. Uh, it's really sort of taken off. So you give, you're, you're maybe giving you're vegan 20, 30 years, as opposed to a culture that has had vegetarian as part of their standard uh, diet on a yearly, on a regular basis. Uh, for thousands of years and so the amount of food that there is uh, if you know how to cook and I, I do know how to cook uh, is enormous there's there there's an enormous variety of food so it's not that uh, <laughs> that you would necessarily go hungry it's just that the, the foods are different they're just more vegetarian that than they are than it is in terms of a lack of food and, and it, it it's just a, a different frame of mind. Then afterwards, there's there then there's Passover or Pascha we call as we call it as we call it, uh, and then another fifty days after that till Pentecost, uh, we have the uh, the days of of Passover or the days of Pascha, and. We celebrate all throughout those 50 days. There's a, you know, there's a lot of different celebrations that are, that go on, and uh, the refer what we say to people though, as we meet and greet and so on and so forth is that Christos and Nesti is in Greek, and then in Arabic it's Messiahcham. So that and that basically means Christ is risen. So that's why you'll be seeing this at the beginning of Big Bang Theory. You'll be seeing. Uh, the, the new opening for the next 50 days at, uh, big, at big Bang Theory RL will be like this. It was from a flash mob uh, in Lebanon. Uh, they had posted it to the internet, I think it was last year, the year before. And so I took out, I took bits and pieces of it. So it's a, it's a 30 second intro to Big Bang Theory RL that's going to be here for now for the next, uh, well, next, well, for the next 50 days. And I got to warn you, and this is for any of the nerds that are out there uh, and, uh, and other atheists. Uh, or people who b generally who aren't nerds. Um, uh, the caution that I have to remind people that, they, that I am a nerd. Uh, I'm a nerd of a, I'm, I'm what I call it a high order nerd. I get, I guess you call them 
nerds to varying degrees, and I'm, I'm an nth degree nerd. Uh, and if you don't understand your mathematics, uh, uh <laughs> again, that's the, the nth degree nerd is another nerd reference. Uh, uh, because you could be you could be primarily a reading nerd and stuff like that, or, or a literary nerd, and you do a lot of reading. Most of your work is in ling most of the r work you do is in English literature. Then there are the history nerds, there are music nerds, there are drama nerds. Uh, there are a whole variety of different nerds and of types of nerds in Greek who are on the lower orders, and is their primary thing is reading. And then as you go up the scale, you get into the science and technical, like, like mathematics and stuff like that. And the highest level, the uh, well, the nth degree nerd, would be uh, the type who are like Sheldon Cooper in astrophysics, where uh, in astrophysics, your nerddom, your nerd degree, your nth degree nerd, what makes you the nth degree nerd, is that from uh, astrophysics and quantum mechanics, you can then reach all the other areas of study. In other words, you've reached the, uh, the, pi the pinnacle of nerddom in, in astrophysics with a background of uh, quantum physics uh, because you can reach at any point in nerddom f uh, from, from there. And I've gone down that path uh, and I said I'm, I'm in a uh, great company with Einstein and um, Sir Isaac Newton both of whom uh, believed in God uh, so I don't really find a conflict with this. Uh, a matter of fact uh, I said I, I've seen enough now that uh, I'm moving to create uh, to bring out the Omega construct, but the Omega, these things because these are are existential uh, existential uh, understandings uh, or look into our existential uh, uh, mindset. It's not going to be something that's easy. It's not going to be something that's sh short either. It's going to be fairly typically nerdy. So. Uh, uh, so I've got to put this little caution. You'll start seeing here, start seeing a ca caution nerd on YouTube. And I'm not, I'm not sort of joining. This is not simply about my personality. Although it does, it is part of my personality. I am a nerd. I am a geek. Uh, rather than uh, uh, having uh, Darth Vader toys and other Star Wars type toys uh, as my nerd collection. I like uh, things like Moxie Girls, I like tea parties, and so on and so forth. And it's not for any particular reason, it's just because it's what I like, I like what I like in terms of that it, that that section or that factor of nerddom. If you will, let's go get into the nerd factors, the factors making up a nerd. Uh, there's your primary area of study, your primary in areas, area of interest, and then there are the side distraction or your toys. And there are a variety of different type of toys out there that you could be into. Is that you have some animes, are, some nerds are into anime. Well, most of them are into anime, anyways, uh, and ha or at least know of anime, or, and have either either know about an anime con or have been to an anime con. Uh, and then there's the, the the nerds who are into comics. Uh, then the, uh, in the in the comic book the comic book ner comic book nerds, you have uh, the, your uh, you have your uh, fanboy and fangirl for uh, the various different superheroes. Uh, then of the science fiction shows, there's Doctor Who, there's Babylon Five, Battlestar Galactica, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek. And even if you like, as I say, if you're a Star Trek geek, right? Uh, and you, that, that's sort of some, some of your side distractions. Star, Star, Star Trek. Uh, there are uh, there is a delineation among the Star Trek creeds between uh, the original Star Trek, Star Star Trek T TNG. That's the next gen generation, and then. Uh, there's Deep Space Nine and and Voyager. Those are the, those are those are the uh, the four delineations of Star Trek. Uh, personally, I'm um, uh, of the uh, TNG variety. Uh, if I were going to be watching Star Trek a lot, but uh, uh, I have sort of deferred to star deferred Star Trek to uh, things like uh, Zoe 101. Uh, Victorious, iCarly, uh, Sidekicks, uh, 
SpongeBob SquarePants, Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, my anime is more or less along the kawaii, uh, cute, uh, magic girl genre. It's not on the, um, uh, I, I, I have no taste for the, the, I don't, I, I the rather moronic, uh, henty, which is the, which is the, uh, very popular among the guys, the, uh, Drawing the ideal fantasy girl, uh, and what they would like to do to her. In other words, it, it's the, the it's the standard guy's mind. But uh, I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. But I'm not I'm not of that mind. I'm not a I'm not a sexually oriented person. So uh, it's not of that's not of any interest interest to me. Uh, my interests. Uh, on the side distraction uh, is in the is in the cute kawaii um, uh, side of things in terms of the uh, you have to, you have to know your anime and your in your Japanese culture in order to understand the cute kawaii uh, uh, Lolita, Lolita side of things and it's not it's not what you think it is it's not the American standard American thing it's something more on the um, uh, it, it, the anime that would sort of fall along these lines would be Sailor Moon, Tokyo Mew Mew, or Tokyo Mew Mew, or Mew Mew Power, uh, Pedicure. Uh, these would be along along those lines uh, where there's n really nothing objectionable in them. Uh, and I think it's, I say objectionable because I don't know. I don't find. I don't. Need, I don't need anything uh, in there to be uh, sexually referenced in order to be entertaining. If something's enter going to be entertaining to me, it's going to be something a little bit different uh, than I do uh, from my normal nerddom and reading it that I do. Or dur you know, the my, my distractions need to be, although they may be nerd-oriented, they're going to be uh, not along the lines of my research. So, they're not going to be geopolitical. They're not going to be uh, economic. They're not going to be uh, 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 dynamic phys physics modeling. They're not going to be uh, astrophysics. They're not going to be uh, um, called atmospheric physics. They're not going to be along any of those any of those lines. They're going to be. It's going to be something completely different. It's going to be. But as I said, there there are a variety of different types of nerds, and in the, in the, the uh, that's what I'm saying. So uh, I'm a nerd of an nth degree. It does impact some of the times the way I speak. I don't always. Uh, um, I'm not always as articulate as I could be or should be, uh, as maybe some other people are in terms of who aren't aren't necessarily as nerdy. Uh, I kind of explain my uh, nerdy disposition in terms of the way I speak. A large chunk of it has to do is if you're doing a lot of reading and writing, and this is where this is this uh, Big Bang Theory comes in, Big Bang Theory RL comes into play is that um, when you're doing a lot of reading and writing, a lot of your thoughts and actions are in your mind and in your imagination, and the, the, you don't really physically bring that out. And a lot of times when you interact with people and you try to speak again after doing a lot of spending a lot of time within your mind, the disconnect between your imaginary thoughts and reality uh, is in some ways dysfunctional because if someone says something to you or says you says hello to you, if you're in the mindset that you if you're in your writing mode in your reading mode, and everything is internalized, then the response they're going to give to that person is going to be internalized as well, when it should be an external response. And so this is the the, the dysfunction is between the internal uh, thoughts and reactions. And the external responses, or the, the the transmission between the internal and external. Uh, it, in many cases, because if you're in the inter it, 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 the internal mindset, f that type of writing mode, 
or the reading mode, you don't always click and remember to turn on your external mode when you need to. And so a lot of a lot of your external reactions to people are often delayed or come out in a way that you don't anticipate them to come out as. So something can come out as an insult or um, horribly stated uh, in where, where you've said something maybe inappropriate, but not because that you actually didn't say something important, it's just the way it came out, it was perceived as being inappropriate. And because you're internal, you're thinking in your, you're thinking in your mind, you don't make the connection that somebody has sort of uh, not taken what you had said the way you intended it to be said. Simply because you, the in, the internal intention, the internal, uh, the mental uh, in intention, n never is transmitted to the external. And so that's, that, that's sort of my geekdom. That's sort of my my ner my nerddom, and it's going to be present here on this channel uh, because this is what it's for. It's for me to go from reading and writing. Uh, to uh, being able to write my essays, to write my papers on the fly as I'm saying them out now. And so the only way to do this is just, just to get up there and start doing this. Uh, unedited, unraw, uh, and in your lab books, because this is a lab book, you don't erase any of your mistakes. You allow the mistakes to be open and seen. And you just sort of the next time you try to correct it and you make this a point that you sort of need to correct things as you go along. Uh, but that thing being said, uh, I am working on the uh, the Pasca videos. I've got enough of the stuff done. They're now on the uh, they're now in the editing bay. Uh, I do have some some work to do on it because uh, a large chunk of the service is candlelit and. I don't know if you know, if for those of you who do know about uh, filming and, and videotaping, no, you need a lot of light in order to film properly. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot of color correcting, a lot of uh, brightness boosting, picture boosting. So the editing is going to be very, very difficult to do because I have to get shots that were done in a candlelight vigil uh, to the proper lighting levels so that they can be seen. Uh, but that's uh, that's going to be a challenge. That's going to be an issue for uh, you know for another particular point in time. Well, another point, but as I go along in doing this, and I got a couple of bits of work. I was supposed to vlog uh, Sunday at the house. I went over to to my to my uh, to my Thea's house there. And I think that I have a I have a lot of Thea's in church. I have a lot of Thea's. I have a lot of yayas. I have a lot of. Uh, and Papus, the the and the, it, 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 the more you start hanging out in church, the more the people in church become your family. This is sort of the way the Greeks are, and the the relationship that you have with them are as Theo and Thea, uh, and Papu and, and uh, Yaya, or if they're uh, Arabic, it's Jiddu and Sitdu. Um, The way it works at the house, there's you get to the house, and almost immediately, uh, the food starts rolling out, and so there really isn't sort of a break where you can vlog, and so I didn't get it the, between all the eating that was going on that was going on on Sunday. Uh, there really wasn't a chance to vlog there, so you're not gonna get gonna be able to see uh, what I did at. Uh, at uh, my Thea's house. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, I am going to be, you'll be seeing, I'll be reworking some of the lists a little bit uh, to make room for more contents coming up and so I can fill the content in the proper areas. Alright, take it easy. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.